This is a 802.11ah Halo <coughs> Ethernet bridge from a manufacturer in Taiwan. And for the antenna, I plugged in a dummy load <coughs> and a spectrum analyzer because I'm not quite sure how legal it is to use this in Europe. The other end of the link is here. And this is the uh, setup page for the thing. It's a bit misleading so far. I, there are no instructions that make sense. Uh, when it says Wi-Fi, it means the Halo device. It doesn't mean it has a Wi-Fi um, access point in it and um, not real Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, it's all very confusing. Um, frequency range, supposed to have one, two or four megahertz bandwidth, but uh, so far these only have one megahertz bandwidth. So it's set to the default frequency. Um, the IP address is already set to this. If you change it and you haven't got DHCP turned on, then you just lose connection to the device. You have to press the reset button on the back to reset it so far. And um, power, transmit power says 24 dBm. Um, not sure how correct that is because I've hooked it up. Oh, by the way, it's taking some like half a watt or more <coughs> or at five volts from a power bank. So it's hooked up through the dummy load to a um, spectrum analyzer. And you can see the bandwidth is around about one megahertz. It's one megahertz per division. And the power level, it says, is minus 2.8 dBm. So it's half a milliwatt. I don't know uh, what's going on yet. And that's what you need to read the instructions because if you haven't got a magnifying glass, you won't read those. Not that they make much sense anyway. And this is the spectrum of what's happening at 863 megahertz, 0.5. Um, the, the two nodes are communicating with each other continuously, even when there's no data being transmitted between them. And um, I can see that exceeding a 10% duty cycle limit very quickly.